We are an informal, holistic, creative school. We are a school with an enormous heart in the heart of London. We are a loving community where children are able to grow and develop lifelong skills so they can be successful in whatever they set their mind to. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think it would be to pause or to slow down time because I just find my weeks and my months and my terms just fly by way too quickly. Probably my emails. Like everyone else, I get bombarded with emails and most of them are advertising and, and I don't need to read them, but sometimes I worry that I may have missed something important. They would say that I was kind and caring and that I genuinely listened to them. I really value their thoughts and their opinions and and that I want to make the school a better place with their help. Uh, I would say Sir Ken Robinson. He was one of the first motivational speakers I heard on YouTube to do with education. And after that, I was hooked and I found many more inspirational speakers after that. But Sir Ken, I would say is still one of the best. Not only does he have a great sense of humor, which is important, um, but he has a powerful message, uh, which is you need to have creativity at the core of everything they do. Um, I have a few, but I'm going to say I'll Stand By You by Chrissy Hine um, because it's about compassion and it's heartwarming and I think we all need somebody to stand by us when things get a bit tricky and it has a nice melody as well. Um, probably piggyback. It's a phrase I use when I talk to children about connecting their ideas to other children's ideas. I didn't actually realise I used it that much until my previous school, the children put on an end of year show and they took on the role of the different staff, including me. And uh, piggyback was one of the things that came up in the show. Uh, I'd love to expand the school so we have a secondary part to the school as well. And then children can just continue the Dellington journey all the way through. Uh, I'd like it to be to have empowered the children the staff and the parents to continue to be confident, creative and compassionate.